Hey Facebook, it's your friendly nosy neighbor Jessica Carden and Elise Tell with the Murdoch Man Wearing Company here again on another edition of the Nosy Neighbors. Thank you for joining us. And by the way, if you love local businesses and want to keep in the know on all things local, make sure to like and follow our page. And if you love real estate and you're interested in houses or what's going on because the market is crazy, head over to the Murdoch Man Wearing Company real estate page and check it out there and like, give us a like and follow. We are excited today because we are down on the river, iconic river. In, I mean, this is what Idaho Falls is It is really is. For. We are just right across the street from the falls. And, and this is where a lot of really cool businesses yes. are that we have featured. So. Really, really cool businesses right on the river. It's a great place. And we are excited to talk today because we are going into the Snow, Snow Eagle. Eagle Brewing and Grill. And if you haven't been in here, it is so cool. It it's is a cool a, place. Yeah, really unique for yeah. this area. So. Really, really unique. So let's go in and let's just find out what's going on. Come on in. Come on in. So I'm excited because I want to know what the difference is I here. I know. We've got the wasabi, the wasabi sushi bar. bar. And yes. Yeah. So I think they have some variety of food here. Well, hello. Would it help if I killed the music? Oh, maybe. Well, that's all right. We've got microphones. We'll make it work. Okay. So I... uh, can we ask some questions? Ask. Ask away, tell us who you are. My name is Jerry Mitchell. Uh, my wife's name is Sumiko. And we started in 2011 Snow Eagle Brewing and Grill. So tell us what it is. Because now because you've got the wasabi. You have, tell us what All it right. is. My wife's from Tokyo. Uh -huh. And being Japanese, she, of course, likes sushi. And we've always had a sushi bar at our other restaurant. When we closed that restaurant, we moved the sushi bar over here so that we can have sushi and steaks and sandwiches and whatever else. So you really and, do have a good variety of food here. Oh well, yeah, it's... Well, it's there's a few of us that are not big sushi people, but right. that's our why spouses we have both. are big sushi people. <laughs> we, that's why we have both. So you can come in here, you can bring your friends and spouse, whatever. The, the sushi people can have their sushi and the steak people can have their steaks. And there's a salad or a, or a sandwich or something goes with it. That's too, good too. So tell us, so we've got sushi and food, but this is a brewery as well. And it's, I see some pretty cool stuff right. back here. We brew, we have a 10 barrel brewing system. We brew our own beers. We usually have eight on uh, tap at a time. And you are, and these are all your own Snow Eagle brand? Oh yeah. Let's walk yeah. over there and take it. This is amazing. I mean, by the way, beautiful. It looks just beautiful. It's so cool. Is this something, does this process happen every day? No, not every day. Okay. Uh, right now, we, we just finished uh, brewing a batch. And when they get through cooking it, getting the sugars out of it, and they put it over here and get it up to the alcohol they want, then they transfer it up to those tanks up, up there. And then they will brew. Oh my and, word, look at that. And depending on uh, what kind of beer we're brewing, it can be anywhere from uh, three weeks to three months. Oh, a really? Longer, a longer takes longer than uh, IPA. So wow. and then once, they're, once that's done, then they'll transfer those beers down to these four, what they call bright tanks. And the bright tanks service under, under the ground over to the taps. Really? They go right to the tap? Yeah. Wow. Wow. So, okay, now I have a million questions. No, no, wait, before I start those questions. One at a time. <laughs> One at a time. Tell us your hours, location, oh, so that anybody knows if they want to come in. Of course, we're located on the river. I'll get down to the river. Best and look location the, in town. Yeah, you're going to find uh, Snow Eagle Brewing and Grill. And we're open Monday through Saturday from 11 a.m. until 9.30. Monday through Saturday, 11 to 9.30. Yeah. Okay, now we got all that out. All right, who came up with, who comes up with how it tastes? Who can- well, We have a brewmaster. Oh, you have yeah. a brewmaster. He does all of the brewing. He knows what he's, he's been brewing for us ever since these, we opened. They're all originals from oh, yeah. Snow Eagle. Okay, yeah. I'm seeing like the Samurai Japanese Lager. All of those are original yeah. Snow Eagle. Well, brewers. and the, the Japanese Lager is kind of interesting because my wife asked, why don't we have a Japanese beer? We had all these other beers. So he said, oh, let me look into it. So he came up with this recipe for a Japanese beer. And so we named it the... Uh, uh, the Samurai. Samurai, Japanese lager. And uh, it turned out it's one of our most popular beers. We really? 
Okay. We won't be rotating that one around. We'll keep this one on all the time. Wow. Okay. Can people get these anywhere else, no. or do you have to come to Snow Eagle? We, we find that distributing was cost prohibitive, didn't make any sense for us, so we just so we can just keep up with what we want here. Wow. Can okay. people come get like a keg and oh. take that with yeah. them? Of they take place? a keg. Uh -huh. uh, we don't can it or bottle it, but they can get a keg or they can get a growler, okay. either one, and take the beer. Oh, cool. Okay, I have more questions. All right, so now you're a brewery, you've got sushi, uh -huh. you've got food, and is it also a sports bar? Because I no. see TVs Well, uh, we, we have a few, uh, we have, uh, what, seven televisions, and we have uh, sports flags around, uh, just to show that... Uh, the support. Just fun to watch. Anything with sports, yeah. it tends to get people come. Everybody's interested in sports, golfing, tennis, yeah. football, basketball, whatever. I love it. So it's almost like, I mean, this is like just a fun place. Yeah. I'm I mean, sure you can it's get a fun everything. atmosphere. For game night, I bet you have people. It might not be officially a sports bar, but. No, it's not because we only, serve have... beer, we only serve beer and wine. Okay. Yeah. So as far as the bar goes, we probably don't qualify <laughs> as a bar. We, we have a children's menu. We have high chairs. We have coloring books. We have all things. So but we are family friendly. Okay, good. That's cool. That's really so cool. I noticed also up food. here is you have an additional dining space yeah, up above. We call that our loft. And up in the loft, we will have private parties. We can handle up to 30 so odd people depending wow. on the seating. And it gives people a chance to be segregated, but they're still part of the noise that goes oh, on. Oh, then this is that. so, so fun. All right. Let's talk about the menu. You want to show us the menu? Sure, let's go look at that. So what are, what, what, when they come, what do they need to eat? <laughs> okay, we have two menus. Uh, one menu gives us our sandwiches, our pastas, um, appetizers. Then we have a lot of entrees. Uh, one of our favorites is, of course, the fish and chips. People really like that. People from England say it's, it's as good a fish and chips as they've ever had. That's a tall order to of, fill. And we get a lot of people from England. We've got some great burgers. Our most famous is our Snow Eagle Burger. Now, it's a half oh, pound of wow. Kobe beef, and you'd be, have a hard time finishing that one. Wow. Uh, we have salads. Good, really good salads. Our most popular salad is probably either the farmer's market or the... Uh, pear walnut salad, spinach, and so it's really yeah, a good salad. Yeah. Now that's one menu. Okay, one menu, I'll hold this one. one then menu. we have our sushi menu. Look at this, and, and wait a minute, who's this? This, if you can see it, is my wife. That's Sumiko. Oh my goodness. She was a professional dancer in Japan, wow. an actress, and... Uh, so was, does that mean she was a, um, what did I just blank out? <laughs> You know what geisha? I'm talking about? Was she a geisha? Because aren't they professional singers and dancers? No, is that no, not the same? no. Geisha oh, okay. is kind Something of Something else. Oh boy. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't sure, you know. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, she, in, in America, she would dance a lot. She danced a lot. Wow. Her. She quit only, she only quit dancing about five years ago. It's tough because it takes an hour just to put on the obe and the things that go along with it. Oh my wow. goodness. Anyway, wow. So that, it was authentic. Dance. Anyway, the, the, all of these cool. are authentic Japanese. We brought in some Japanese chefs from Tokyo, yes. from Japan, and for two years we had them training our staff here. Government wouldn't let them stay, so they trained my wife, my son, my grandson. And they all are trained on sushi. So what they get is authentic sushi. Wow. So how do you get how do you get it? Do you fly it in? How well, did you we, we have good suppliers. Ocean Beauty brings us uh, fresh fish twice a week. Uh, we get a, a lot of stuff in frozen. Mm -hmm. So no Got problem ca keeping product in. Yeah, good heavenly days. So how did this all start? I well, mean, tell us the history. I'm going to put this down. Tell us I mean, cuz this is amazing, but did this building was uh, originally an international harvester tractor dealership. Are you oh, serious? That's... No, it was. Oh and, my goodness. And uh, what happened was that when they moved out, they some people came in here and converted it into a brewery. And they added all the superstructure up there and this up here, mm -hmm. all this brickwork and cement work. And they spent about a million dollars to make it what it is now. Wow. Uh, the only difference is the they were after 13 years of being here as a brewery, they had a falling out with the landlord and so they left. Uh -huh. That left an opening for us. About a year later, after setting for about a year, they invited us over. So we thought we got all brand new equipment. 
remodel the inside. And well, it's beautiful. Yeah. It's beautiful. So you yeah. took advantage of that opportunity and moved on in, and it is a beautiful space. Yeah. Is that when you brought on a brewmaster? Is well, when you came we into brought a brewmaster space? when we started installing the equipment because yeah. somebody had to know what they were doing. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on there. How long has your brewmaster been brewmastering? Well, quite a while. He started out as a home brewer uh -huh. and just moved on up the scale. He's really talented. Wow. We have never had a bad batch. In all the years he's been doing it, we've never had a bad batch. Oh, that's so. awesome. So how long, has, how long has Snow Eagle been in effect? Since 2011. I'm gonna walk over here and take a look at this. So 2011, and so I love that you've got your open, that you can kind of see in the kitchen. Now, we've got the bar. Can you get a full menu at the bar? Oh yeah, yeah, any, ah. any place, they have sushi, they have steaks, they have any place they sit. Wow, it's amazing. So what are the, what's what do you eat? What do I eat? When you <laughs> and it's prime, tiny, prime, what do you pick? I like the prime rib sandwich. Uh -huh. uh, I like the fish and chips. Mm -hmm. But one of my favorites is the pulled pork burrito. People are gonna look at burrito. It's a burrito. <laughs> well, it's really good. We we hand uh, marinate the uh, not marinate but slow cook the pork for 12 hours in our cook, slow cooker. It falls apart and it's got sweet seasonings and so forth, and it's very tasty. Ooh. Well, Jerry, I have to agree with you. I've had that burrito on more than one occasion, <laughs> and it is a fave. Yeah. Very delicious. I like it. So do you guys do any specials or do any activities that they need to know about? Well, we change our menu from time. We run specials, oh. so we have a very flexible menu. Mm -hmm. uh, we also do catering. Oh. Uh, one of the things that we do a lot of is we have wedding parties in here. We, we'll convert this bar to a giant uh, buffet. Buffet. Wow. And people will bring in their decorations and so forth. And it's just oh, perfect for I a wedding. Oh, I would love that in That's here. That's so cool. That would be so yeah. cool. One time they got a, a bunch of uh, white pillars up there and they had the ceremony up there. Really? And then they had their party down here. And they just took the whole restaurant for the, for the evening. It was great. So cool. So cool. Well, Jerry, this is awesome. This is really, mm. really a great place. One more thing, the name, yeah. Snow Eagle. Oh yes, that's really what I uh, need to know. The name Snow Eagle is, uh, my son's name is Jerry Takayuki Mitchell. The name Takayuki is Japanese for Snow Eagle. So when we were looking around for a name, my wife decided that Snow Eagle would be a good name. So we chose Snow Eagle. And we found a great logo to go with it. So it looked that out great. That is really cool. So you don't know this, but my husband speaks Japanese. Oh, really? Yes, he went on his mission to Japan and he still speaks Japanese. Yeah. So. And my, my son was on a mission in Japan and uh, that. and uh, my wife speaks Japanese. And your wife may speak <laughs> <laughs> And I speak just enough to get into trouble. That's right, so as you should, as you should. Mm. Well, that is awesome. Did we miss anything else we need to know about Snow Eagle? Well, uh, I, I, just, I mean, I think it's, it's most important that people realize that we're not just a sushi bar. Mm -hmm. We have a very broad, very flexible menu. Every, all of our sauces are made in-house. Oh. We have a special snow eagle sauce, our, uh, picant, our, our various sauces that we make. We make our own, uh, what they call, wasabi dressing. Anybody that tastes the wasabi dressing says, gee, you bottle that? And we do. Wow. And so there's a lot of things that people don't know about our restaurant. That's awesome. That is phenomenal. Well, I think Everybody should get down. Are you open on Labor Day? Yes, we are. Flood this place on Labor Day. Get down here. Awesome. Awesome place. Jerry, thank you for sharing this with us. Thanks for the story. No, thank you. That's pretty amazing. Thank you for the interview. It's really awesome. All right, I love guys. the history. I love the history, yeah. too. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. I want to see your... I'm going to go look for your wife. Okay. Good luck. She will not be <laughs> on camera. She will not be on camera. <laughs> nope. <laughs> we'll get her sometime. It's awesome. Well, you guys, get down here. It's the Snow Eagle Brewery right here on the river. Fantastic food, fantastic environment. Come down and try it out. This has been Jessica Carden and Elise Tell. Your nosy neighbors keeping you in the know.